Hi Sandra. So I'm spoiling you again. Where are we off to now? Your choice, yeah. Your choice. We're off for a we're off for an Italian. Where we what are we going to? We're going to San Oh I've forgotten. Rufos. Rufos. It's like something dog like. <laughs> and we got a little super thanks um the other day uh which totally unexpected and everything like that but Johnny does give a big thank you to uh, thanks so much Tish Tash I'm glad you're enjoying the content yeah Tish Tash uh, and everybody else that's been sort of commenting and all the rest of it um, hoping you're enjoying our continued journey on a week's holiday we're all going on a summer holiday it's beautiful isn't it Sandra beautiful weather yeah lovely and dry now stop raining right we're nearly there so um Come and join us. If we can do a little bit of filming, we will do. Uh, we're just on the outskirts of Skegness. And the building there, a little, is where we're going to. It's not, oh, bloody hell, there's a lot, 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 lot of pizza. It's busy, it? So we're all in. It's really busy, Sam, isn't it? Because considering it's out of season and everything, really busy. There is a table for two and a half hours. Could be hours. So early this afternoon, as I explained to Sandy, come for uh, an Italian. If you have a, a soup as a starter, it's always a minestrone. So Sandra said, oh, they'll have a special on today. So she asked, she said, what's the soup of the day? What's the soup of the day, Sandra? So it says on the menu, the chef decides every day what the soup's going to be and to ask what it's going to be. So because it's minestrone today, Neil thinks it's minestrone every day. It's minestrone soup in Italian every day. Right, menu. They've got dressed crab as a starter. So I've got a pint of John Smith's order. They haven't got any brony on draft. They've got a Moretti and that's it. But I'm going to have um, a super starter. And I'm going to have a spaghetti fruity di mer, which is a mixed fresh seafood. I like, I'm partial to seafood. Cooked in tomato and parsley sauce, finished with white wine. So that's um, what I'm having. What are you having, Sandra? Try this soup and then the penny al forno. And what's that? It's baked pasta with cornet sauce and some peas and mushrooms and cheese. All in all baked together. You haven't anything to drink? And ham. Apple cider. Italian apple cider. Try that. Right, so I do I do like Italian food and I've said to Sandra I'm not gonna have seafood, I'm gonna have something for a change and have succumbed. Food order. Like quick, light, and everything. One thing that they didn't have on the menu for you, Neil, though. What's that? No mushy peas. And what? No mushy peas. <laughs> Last night we had fish and chips, and Sandra said, Do I want mushy peas or garden peas? I said, Please get me mushy peas. And um, Sandra, what did you get me? Well, I assumed it came with peas of some description. So when she didn't ask, I assumed it came with mushy peas, and sadly it turned out the peas was extra. I didn't notice that, and she didn't ask me. So we missed out on his mushy peas. So I basically got no peas. Garden peas or mushy peas. And she actually said to me, she said, Do you want garden peas or mushy peas? I said, Come on, I'll have, I'll have mushy peas, please. So, what's the moral of the story, Neil? The moral of the story is, or to eat your own food. Sometimes, please. Where you go. Is it a clap? It's, it's obviously somebody's birthday. There you go. Um, Birthday cake and happy birthday music, Sandra. Did you tell me? <laughs> Do I ever buy Sandra anything nice, jewellery-wise? So Sandra is now sporting a pair of earrings and a necklace I bought her. Turn around your earrings, Sandra. There, and give me your necklace. So, yeah, so Tree of Life earrings with a topaz and a silver necklace. There you go, you non-believers. Have faith in me. Surely, Sandra. Do, do Italian do mushy peas? <laughs> 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 
Good, because I wouldn't trust you to order any. Is life a minestrone, Sandra? Throw it all together into the mix. I, I really am partial to seafood. Look at that prawn. It's calling me to eat it. Wow, that's, that's a prawn and a half, isn't it? What is it, Sandra? Prawn and a half. It's huge. It's only one prawn, Sandra. It's not a prawn and a half. It's huge. Okay, have you got like, your side salad? Side salad. Oh, it's a bit of black pepper. Your pasta? Bit of parmesan? Yeah. 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 Oh. Pulling mussels from a shell, and that's possibly the biggest mussel of my life. Look at the size of that, baby, lovely. Oh, mm. so we've just had a absolutely delightful meal. I mean, spot on meal. And Sandra said, "Oh, I can't finish because I'm too full." And then the lady came and said, "Dessert menu." And what did you say, Sandra? Yeah, so can I have a look? What are you having? Just have a look at. Sandra's got no idea how much a spoiler and how lucky she is to have me. You know, some husbands, like at Christmas, would buy the wife like a couple of metal bins and some willy bin stickers. Two meals in a row. Now she's looking at coffee at the minute. With ice cream. All right, well, I'm going, for, I'm going for a cheesecake. They've got a special cheesecake today. And what are you having, Sandra? She's, Sandra's asking, what are you having? I need to decide between just a coffee or coffee with ice cream. <laughs> Now then, it's going to be too late to comment below on what I'm going to let her have, but should I let her have just a coffee or a coffee and ice cream? That's the question. Sandra's rejecting me on it. What was all that about? So, I was saying, so the waitress came over then, so should I let Sandra have what she wants, or should I be a grumpy husband and tell her to, no? Well, you can't anyway, but you know. Go on, what did you go for? I said, could I have the coffee with ice cream with just one scoop instead of two? But Neil's kindly offered to eat the other scoop, so we're all good. Ice cream, ice cream. Life without, without ice cream is not worth living. Everybody must, you're never too old for ice cream. So I'm going to have some, uh, uh, one of a scoop of ice cream with my cheesecake. I can't remember what flavour cheesecake it was now. It was mango and something. Mango and something. The man, the man went where? <laughs> the man goes with a reindeer. <laughs> Ooh. How does that work, Sandra? Pour it over the ice cream. I don't need to photograph it for Google reviews. <laughs> Stuffed. Right, so that was better water. That was, that was excellent. really good. That Kevin get copyright strike, but that, that was like seriously good. Was really unusual, all really fresh prepared, really tasty. Probably one of the best desserts I've had. Dessert? What are you mean? Main oven baked pasta. Really nice. Right. Got to watch out for the uh, audio. We don't want to get a copyright strike, do we? Hey, right. So we can talk. talk sorry, sorry, be a bit conscious about the copyright music. Given the tip, but there was no options for you. Oh, okay. That was really nice. That was um, full three courses, a couple of pints, all the drinks and everything like that. Was it 55, 56 quid, something like that? 
Um, really, but, really reasonable. Yeah, really, really, really so nice. Ah, enjoy your Christmas meals, Sandra. How many husbands take, uh, take their, their wives out for all these meals? <laughs> hey? About the rest of the year. <laughs> well, I'm going to be getting to a few days, aren't we? You'll miss me when I'm not with you, Sandra. You'll miss me for eight months and nine months or however long it may be. Anyway. Will you miss me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course I will. I'm missing you already. Oh, hang on, still with me. Right, we're going to head back um, back to the nurseries for the night. And um, we've got a busy day tomorrow. So keep watching. If this all goes to plan, we're going to a caravan spare place. I've removed a boiler out of my caravan this afternoon. Going to get a new boiler. And we're going into Lincoln tomorrow. Well, keep watching this, all being well. This will lead on to Lincoln. Right, I'll be the same for tonight. Nice. Sandra, it's not I'll be the same, is it? It's ciao, baby. You're in a bit of Italian. So I'm going to say ciao. 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 That's kind of Chinese. Not ciao, mate. It's like ciao. <laughs> Ah, ciao Italia! Right, good morning from the nurseries. I've got Sandra doing my early morning walk. It's another beautiful day at the nurseries where we've got pure blue sky, nice and warm. It never rains at the nursery, Sandra, does it? Just hang on a minute, we need to go that way. The sun's the, the, the sun is that bright. Isn't it a beautiful day? Look at us, there's a cloud in the sky. It is today, much nicer. I told you it never rains in the nurseries. <laughs> Women did. It, it, the rubbish, rubbish. Look, 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 look at the weather here. Look. Can you imagine now if it was um, springtime? You're staying in the pod. You've got the cottage looking beautiful with the clear blue skies. Uh, look at this. It's absolutely fantastic weather at the nurseries here in Lincolnshire, isn't it? Actually, we're not going that way. We're going this way. So yesterday, so we had a leaky tap in the ladies. So I've. Turn the isolator off on that, and we had a couple of um, leaky taps, so I've just put some um, pipe adapters on them to stop them leaking, but I do need to pick one up today. So just giving Russia a leg stretch. Uh, and then off to, I was going to say Lincolnshire direction. Well, Lincoln, isn't it? Yeah, we are in Lincolnshire. <laughs> we are in Lincolnshire, yeah. Um, let's see, uh, see what comes out. What are we having for tea tonight, Sandra? Uh, sorry, and just um, before we forget, sorry, overnight, um, we've got um, somebody to give a big thank you to, don't we? We do. Yeah, I was expecting <laughs> me to remember still. <laughs> I was just getting my coffee this morning, it was like bumbling in my ear in the background. I really apologise, but I wasn't listening. <laughs> so big thank you to Maggie Mitchell, um, who, Maggie. Uh, yeah, Maggie, who's, yeah. Who, who does loads of comments and all the rest of it. Maggie, um, Thank you ever so much for that. That's uh, what I'll do with that, Maggie. I'll get Sandra some. I'll get you some bin number stickers for the wheelie bin at home, or I'll get her a cook. I'll get her a cooking pot. How about that? <laughs> now, I'll, 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 so as you're noticing, uh, while we're away, we are treating ourselves a little bit extravagant, eating out for a week. Um, so I'll put that into the get Sandra half a lager. <laughs> Although, what did you have last night with your ice cream? Wasn't it an espresso? And what was the liqueur? Amaretto. An amaretto, there you are. Right, I'm I'm gonna put this down and um so give it Russia uh, a leg stretch and we need we've got we've got a, a quite a quite a busy busy day ahead of us, all being well. Keep following, keep following for our journey. I don't know if you can pick that up, but this is the cheapest fuel we've had for a long time. One pound thirty seven point nine for petrol and £1.59.9 for diesel, un under what, oh, something's happening in the world, um, under £1.60 for diesel here in Lincolnshire. Back at home, it's flipping £1.85. It's um, well, the cheap, cheap is £1.79. Um. Look at that, that's absolutely un unbelievable price. Right, so our plans didn't really go to plan, as ever. So we're in Lincoln, there's the cathedral, this is where we're heading to, and the Caravan spare place that's meant to be open till one o'clock basically wasn't open. Uh, so we got. I call a giant bauble. We're gonna have a look at the giant ba baubles if you want. So we got there and there was other people wait waiting for spare parts. Funny enough, with heater problems. Mm -hmm. Anyway, fortunately it's not the end of the world for us, um, but just a little bit frustrating being told that they were open because uh, we've been exchanging messages. Into this little garden here. 
So Lincolnshire at Christmas, when it's all lit up at night, it's meant to be very, very beautiful. And these have got giant, look, big, big, big Lincoln all lit up in big baubles. Uh, we managed to get parked, only just, wasn't it? It wasn't easy, was it? No. Uh, okay, so I think we're going to head down the cobble road where there's another car park and I saw a little, um, a little shopping street, like the sort of place that you'd like, Sandra. Funny enough, since it's Sandra me gyroscope in the GoPro keeps sticking, so I think the last video you saw, you saw us upside down. <laughs> so that was deliberate to see whether you've been watching or not, see if anybody comments going, why are you upside down? Right, so we'll... So, Russia's having lots of sniffs. So another cock-up we did this morning as well, or Sandra did. We put Russia in the car. I did? Yeah. Uh, and then we were halfway down on our trip and I said, well, have you got the dog's lead? <laughs> Nothing to do with me, Neil. You were sat in the car, like huffing and puffing. <coughs> she thought I was taking too long brushing my teeth and then the next thing, oh, I forgot the dog lead. So we had to go and buy a dog's lead. Anyway, the last time you lost a dog's lead, you blamed, you blamed it on COVID. <laughs> True. Yeah. Right, so, yeah, Lincoln, I, I've never, a place we've never been before. What are you doing with the dog? That's an old post office, isn't it? Look how pretty that is, isn't it? Sorry. Right. So there's the cathedral. So we're just going to have a quick look at the signpost over here and to see where uh, we are so we've got some idea of coordination, maybe. Can do. Yes. Sandra sneaked in a wee when she went to find the lead and I'm absolutely busting for a waz. Right, Cathedral, Medieval, Castle, Magna Carta. Sorry, yeah, they don't say how far I can, I can wait, I can hold on. I'm a, I'm a man, Sandra, I'm a man. Why don't you just go then? Museum, I'll, I'll find a weather spoons. Putting Railway Station, Rayford Waterfront. So, I think we'll head towards the Cathedral because you want to go to the Cathedral, don't you? So we'll go in there before it closes. Right, Rush. Rush it. Cool. Right, so. We're just taking in a bit of the history, aren't we, Sandra? Vikings did take it. So another uh, Romans. So as I say, you normally get a, a, a city. And you notice a city when it has a cathedral, and there's normally a river involved. And the Magna Carta, the puppy I call the Magna Carta, Sandra. So all being well, we're going to be allowed to take the dog into the cathedral if the cathedral is open. Otherwise you're going to have to sit outside. Because I need a way. Right, through the... Through the gate. So we're in the cathedral. Ooh. 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 Oh, that's a, that's a pleasant, isn't it? Let me tell you. Let's take that in. That's a beautiful building. That's a seriously nice building. Yeah. Isn't it? There's a door that says entrance. Let's go and have a look. Are we allowed to take dogs in or not? That's going to be the question. Just in time. Yeah, she's having a dog in there while she's doing So a couple of things there, if you do come in the cathedral, we've asked if we're allowed dogs. So it's dog friendly, including the cafe. There is guided tours, or we can have a map and do our own thing, which is a really big place. Um, and the ticket's valid for a year. 
and it was nine pounds yeah nine pounds each so 18 pounds but you can come back as many times as you want um for a year so i do an arnold schwarzenegger will be back so i don't really know where we're going and i don't really know whether we're gonna get much time in lincoln town because we're going to run out of daylight and places closing early but Sandy White's come to the cathedral. Oh, it's a proper nativity. Oh, is that, is that Mary? Oh, is it Joseph? It's Joseph, that. That's Mary. What's happened? Rashes doesn't like the donkey, look. What's up, Rashes? I said, why, why do you smell? <laughs> Russia's got the sense of something really, really bad, look. I feel like we need to go that way for this and work our way around like, clockwise. Soon we've been walking up here, haven't we? It says there's toilets down on the left. But I need to wait. Where? Where are toilets? Yeah, dead far away. Service is finished now, so we're okay to film. You lit the candle. Sorry? You lit the candle? Yeah. You lit the candle. Before. For everyone that's having a rubbish time. Sandra lit a candle for everybody who's having a rub. So if you're having a rubbish time, Sandra has lit a candle for you. Uh -huh. So if you're a bit sad, we're thinking of you. If you're a little bit lonely, what are we doing? Thinking, thinking of, you. of you. If you're unwell, from cancer treatment, anything nasty like that, we're thinking oh, about it. Or any treatment. Hmm. If you've got gout. Gout, yeah. Covid. Flu. We've lit a candle for you. Want to show us your candle? Yeah. Come. Oh. Sandra's going to show us the candle. That one looked lonely, didn't have a candle in it. So, anybody out there watching this, you have now got a candle burning away in Lincoln Cathedral just for. Stained glass windows, gorgeous, look at that. Nineteen fifty six. There's a hole there. Could be a mouse living in there. Could be a church mouse. Church mouse. Up a door, look at that. I mean that's a serious door. Well, it's very luxurious, this sandra, isn't it? Mm. Why is it so close to the radiator, isn't it? It's really warm in here. No, it rush. So you won't be able to see how many people have stepped down this step. Look how much that's warm there, sandra.
Ili draž. To slew the armed forces because there's the old back in when to the uh, First World War. Treasury's not open. come for the toilets they're not very well signposted but they're through that door on the left easy to walk past Sandra Say to us, but that's where it is. So that's, uh... Don't let her walk on it. Twenty twenty one, all these are really new. Well, that's grand, yeah. I have a picture taken here, Sandra. Just I'll speak to these people, that'll be safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. friendly. I can smell coffee, Sandra. So we've sort of come through the cathedral there and we're into a, a very little bit.
as a gift from me to you. <laughs> I think somebody should put a frock on up here. Give us a prayer for the marriage, Sandra. Hmm? Give us a prayer for the marriage. For so the behind marriage. You. So you just missed the prayer for the marriage. Oh. Yeah. Give us a wave. <laughs> How's that? You're wonderful. Okay, so that's tea room behind us. A gift shop. And a courtyard. Okay, carry on. Oh, rush it, rush it, rush it. Little Ross, you're doing a lot of pulling. It's getting scared. Her. So it sort of pops out of the back of the cathedral. You enjoy that, Sandra. Happy Christmas. There's another Christmas present for you. Now, back of the cathedral. What do you recommend for people to come and visit? If you're, well, if you like history, you don't need to necessarily be religious, uh, but. 
What do you think? Definitely. Yeah, worth it. Oh, it's windy. A bit of a jig to the Lord of the Dance. There's somebody playing an accordion. There. A bit of movement, like at least nod your head. <laughs> right, so we're gonna head down the cobble road. It's been like the Hovis, Hovis advert, isn't it? Mm. it smell hot chocolate. Will we get naked, Sandra? So there's a naked marshmallows. Building. Look at that, that's been built on the hill on there. It's even got a mud scrapery boot thing on it. It's steep hill ahead. Who <laughs> risk it? Right. It's not icy, but it's a definitely steep hill, Sandra. Pretty, isn't it? Bunty's tea room, isn't it? Oh, that's nice. When I was little, I would sit at that for like hours and look at it, using my imagination. Could you use your imagination looking at little models like that? I used to be able to when I was young. Not so young nowadays, though, are I, Sandra? Now I've reached 44. Oh, God, this steep hill gets even steeper. Look at the grief. Sandra's a bit. She's a bit scared of the hill that she might fall over. Right, we've got some leveling off coming up. Hilda's Lodge at number 60, Steep Hill. Did you see all the people looking pained walking up the hill? Walking back up the hill, yeah, that's going to be us in a bit. Good job we're not drinking beer, isn't it, Sandra? It's very disgusting. Right. Steep but how on earth do you get into the door, into the shop? I just stand next to that so people can see the size of it. Is it a front door? I've no idea. What's all, what's all that about? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Oh, a, jolly, a jolly duck. That's, that's, a, that's a jolly duck for you. Let's get you a jolly duck. No, I've got enough ducks in my life. You need one for Christmas soon, actually. Not, wait, did you get a Christmas? Did you get a duck for Christmas, Sandra? Oh, sorry. Come on, come on, come on. A penguin instead. Oh, no, it's a puffin. Yeah, puffins then. Model shop. Model shop. Army and Navies, yeah. That's it, yeah. I'll, I'll have a quarter of uh, Who doesn't like Army and Navies if they've got any? You can open the 30s, 
the 40s, the 60s, 70, 80, 90s, into the 90s and into the millennium years. Come and get your 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 sweet memories. Probably a bit crowded. <laughs> Small so they haven't got any? They're not I've, like the usual ones. I've never had army and navies like that. I just take one out. That's that. I don't think these are proper army and navies. I've never had them wrapped, ever. So it's sort of licorice and aniseed, um, which we'll try yeah. later. These aren't the army and navies back in Manchester, army and navies. But I'll try one. See if it warms me up. What are you having, Sandra? In the blackjack. Oh, yeah, Sandra, here's a hat shop. You like your hats, don't you? Where have you gone? Mm -hmm. Bitten's Great Street. It does taste of army and area, dogs having a drink. We're on a very, very, very long street here, aren't we? Really long, I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but... Um... Oh yeah, a, a little bit of a fake TFI Friday. Those that know TFI Fridays, same colours, but it's called Fridays. <laughs> so it's primarily independent shops as well, isn't it? A lot of uh, high quality clothes shops here. Like pound. Oh yeah, there is an odd shop, isn't there? A charity shop and stuff, but there's definitely a lot of uh, independent shops. Look, there's a they, they even have glory holes here. <laughs> Oh, and we're, we're now we're sorry we're now approaching places where there are more well-known names <laughs> well, it still keeps on going and going it's a very very long road we're on isn't it so maybe maybe one year we'll get back here and we'll come and have a look at the Christmas markets and the Christmas lights. Under. What what say you? Hmm? One way to come to Christmas market. Yeah, it's very very pretty. Oh look, there's an Ann Summers there. Well, it's certainly very 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 busy with pedestrians, isn't it? So there's more dogs outside this shop than you can shake a dog out. Look, two dogs there, doggy there, doggy there, two dogs there. And Racker, loads of them. See, Martin Spencer's isn't dog friendly. That's why he's outside with the dogs. Oh, oh. A poppadom. <laughs> yeah, so we, we we both spotted the rat verse, so I am I am partial to a rat verse, Sandra. A curry verse. Well, I don't think we'll have one till room is eight. What time is it? I have no idea what time is neither. I've never. I have never walked through a city before. We've never walked through a city before, and there's randomly there's a railway line and a railway crossing. This is I've never come across this before. Look at this. Choo choo. Choo choo. <laughs> Oh my golly, look at that. Yeah. 
Always an Audi driver, isn't there? Always one. <laughs> Join another sing along song. It's a bit late for carols, isn't it? What's the, what's the New Year song? You think of one? All Lang Syne. All Lang Syne? <laughs> is, that, is that the only one? No. What's that pulp? Year 2000. It's waterfront this way. Right. Very nice and careful, Russia. Make it, Sandra. It's like just like just like being back in Amsterdam, isn't it? Uh, keep away from the edge, Russia. I don't want you going for spinning. Hello, pigeon. Where are you going? Well, not today, Sandra. Well, maybe another day to do boat trips down here as well. Nice. Do you remember when you first met me? I was on four squares. So those that know what four squares is will know. And we were in Chester and I'm on four squares. And I checked into a, a boat or something. Said it's the uh, second time you've been on a boat. And Sandra says, you've never been on a boat. Do you remember? Because yeah, you hadn't. I had. You fibbed about being on Rubbish. A boat. Right, we're not going to walk too far, but we're like on the end of the river here now, and there's like a marina. There you go, an industrial pass. I said there'd be a river and oh, that's it. You said it was wolf. Oh yeah. Right. Ah. Traffic lights for boats. Chester's got like the clock tower, the clock water, hasn't it? Yeah. That's a nice name, isn't it? The Cardinal's hat. Mm. Oh, it smells Subway. We're at the bottom of the steep hill, Sandra. Do you know when I was a kid? Just film one of them for a moment. Do what? Film one of them for a moment. Chewing. It might be. It's a chewing gum. But apparently there's What's also... What's your dog? I used to think it was always chewing gum, but apparently there's also a lichen that looks like chewing gum. That's chewing gum? Maybe. Oh, chewing gum. It's disgusting. Those of a certain age will know. Their capacitors. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my golly. How oh, volt meters? <laughs> cool. Jacks. <laughs> Capacitor for your birthday now. Yeah, I'm going to make a pot in. Goodness me, right, the sun's out. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful colours on that. Look at the colours on that. I don't know that GoPro's pretty good. There's only less a dog outside the shop. He <laughs> says it's fish. He says it's for 
jolly dicks and snooty cats. Jolly ducks. Oh, ducks. Oh, right. Right. Are we at the beginning of the steep hill yet? Long shadows. A picture of your shadow? Yeah, like that. <laughs> Why do you want a picture of your shadow? Because it's fun. Anyway, Alice. Alice. Who the... Is Alice? Just give some idea. So I am on an angle, but look at look at the height of that hill. Not too bad. Well, what they've done, Sandra, is if you're really knackered and you get this far, guess what you can do? Have a sit down. You can have a sit down on the bench there. Two years ago. Yeah, it would have killed me two years ago. This. What? Walking up a little hill? Little hill, very funny. Well, not exactly a massive hill, was it? Just seeing the faces of the people coming up before and we were going down. Oh, I think when we walked up like Conway Mountain, that's a big hill. That's a big hill when we walk up a mountain. I don't know. Like, not really. <sighs> don't come up here to turn a caravan or a motor home. Maybe it's Rowley's Pudgy Pantry there. Look at that there. Ooh, look at this. Look, look at the windows making fudge. Yeah, that's proper fudge, isn't it? Or is it? It's The White Heart. The White Heart. Might be haunted. Might be. Could be a spook in it, a goosey. What's going on with the bells? Just say on the blurb, they ring the bells twice a day. Once for even song and once for. I can't remember. So it's like a call to prayer. Might be warming up. Oh, ding dong merrily on high. Oh, oh, neat. Oh. Right, so there's a Lincoln sign lit up, and what's missing? The eye. So you're meant to stand in there like a person and be an eye. Is this like uh, a YMCA? I think either you're the person or the tree's the eye, or both. It's just a bit weird. Why is there no eye? I think somebody's pinched up the eye. What's she doing? I just think somebody's nicked the eye. Yeah. If you're from Lincoln and you know the sign, yeah, I saw an idea, Sandra, and you know why there's no eye in Lincoln, do tell us. But Sandra wants to be an eye. Don't to be the apple of my eye. I already am, dear. How's your, how's your blackjacks? Nice. Well, I'm on another army and navy. You smell it. <laughs> nom nom. Hey, it's not the right time. Yeah, we're going to get head back into the car. And poor Rashi said she's had a terribly long walk today. You know, she had a couple of drinks of water and everything. And she had a poo on the high street, didn't she? Very embarrassing. She just decided to just to, anyway. And a couple uh, of whittles, but that's not so bad, yeah. No, 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 no. So that's the first time we've been to Lincoln and it was nice to go around the cathedral and into the town um, and surprised how busy it was, if um, I'm absolutely honest. And I've got a gorgeous dog wondering why, why, why I'm talking to ourselves. <laughs> Little doggy there. Um, <laughs> oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're all right. <laughs> what, what, what was all that about? 
I think she, she, I think she liked me. She was going to say hello to Rasha, but then Rasha was typically like aloof, and then she dropped her own dog. And then, anyway, yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, anyway, yeah, it was nice, wasn't it? Well, nice afternoon. So it's quite a lot bigger than I thought. The main sort of street and everything. It's um, a bit chilly and all the rest of it, but but we got there. So um, yeah. So we're still on holiday. Is this day three? Day two? And as long as I don't lose my ticket, we can come to the cathedral again for free now. We can indeed. So thanks for watching. If you watch it till the end as ever, thumbs up from us to you. And if you want to give a thumbs up to us back, that would be marvellous. And don't forget, you can subscribe below and ding the bell and things like that. And um, take care and we're going to catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye for now.